Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing the top five best tweaks of the week. And I want to share this with all of you. Now we are bringing this with you to you in collaboration with ModMy.com. So be sure to go over and check them out. The first one we're going to be looking at today is a pretty cool tweak. And I think you're really going to dig this. So let's jump over to the computer so I can show you more about it. Okay, guys, the first one we're going to look at today is called Predix. This is a elegant tweak for checking your battery status, and it does a pretty cool job. You can set it to an activator. I have it set. If you triple press, you see you get the pop up here. It shows you how much power you have left. I have three hours and 21 minutes, and if I plug up my charger, you'll see that it will actually show me how much time that's left until it's fully charged i'll go ahead and pop that in now you see it converted over to when it will finish charging in one hour and 36 minutes and all you have to do is just touch the screen anywhere and that will go away pretty awesome little tweak guys and like i said that's called predix and it's a dollar 49 in the big boss repo the next one i'm going to talk about here is called simpler photos and this is in the big boss for 99 cents and it allows you to take back control of your photos app you see it has this little edit button up here and you can actually move around reorder you can add new albums and you can even you even have a hidden folder here if you want to hide some particular uh, photographs or something of that nature that will be left totally up to you and you see down here at the bottom this my new stuff I actually added that by tapping the plus icon there and then just entering my new stuff and it saved that new album for me but you can also delete albums by just tapping the little edit button and then touch any of these red buttons here and it will actually remove like so and then tap delete delete album and it's gone and that's another thing about this you no longer have to delete your photos in two different places when you delete it one time it's gone so that's one thing i really didn't like about ios 8 was you had to delete from your photo stream and from your album or vice versa and that one guys is a pretty cool tweak called simpler photos okay guys the next one we're looking at here is called acapella and that's a c a p e l l a and it's two bucks in big boss repo also and what this does guys is it says it cleans up the music controls in ios and i'm going to show you what it does if we open up our music app you can see the the uh, actual title will move when i touch it that's turning it on and off okay i can also touch on the right or left side of the title and it will actually increase or decrease the volume depending on which side I touch. So if I touch on the right side, you see it go up. Just keep tapping. If I tap on the left side, you see it go down. So it makes the music controls much, much easier to use. And that's exactly what it says here for the features. Increase, decrease your volume. You can slide left or right to change tracks. You can slide down to bring up repeat slide up to invoke sharing and you can something one s hold on left or right side skips 20 seconds is okay we're not talking about all that right now but you can see if i swipe to the left it brings back the previous track if i swipe to the right it brings back the next track and you see you got your volume if you swipe up a little bit and I swiped up too far and that's actually if you were to start the song then you could actually go up 20 seconds I don't want to play that song because YouTube will actually flag the video and that's called acapella and it's a very cool tweak and that is a very must-have the next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Preference Tag 2 for iOS 8. This was available in iOS 7 and it's been updated for iOS 8 users. And it's $1.99 in Big Boss Repo. And it says it works on all devices 
which is the iPhone, iPad, and iPod. What this does, guys, it allows you to rearrange your preferences. Now, keep in mind when you're looking for this, it's all the way at the bottom of your settings menu. It took me a while to figure that out. I kept trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. I kept looking for it up here in the tweak category, and it's not in the tweak category. So finally, I figured it out after removing about everything on my device. But anyway, it pays to read the directions anyway. All you have to do is come in here, flip it on, and what it will do is add a actual little uh, button up here in your settings at the top now. You have an edit button. You can tap that and you can drag and drop these any order in any order you want. So that's going to be totally left up to you. And also, we go all the way back down here to the preference tag settings. You can set up, you can set up groups. You can you can do uh, all sorts of different things with this. You can hide things, hide settings if you don't want to. If you never use the airplane mode, you could turn it off. You know, like personally, I never use. Uh, well, I use all these probably. So I might turn something off. You know, like compass because I never use that. And uh, videos, I probably don't never use that much. Not enough to have it on. I don't never use Game Center, Flickr, Vimeo, all those like that. See, you can flip that on and you don't have to look at those anymore. They'll actually be gone. And you also have some security settings you can turn on in the preferences here. Let's go back in. Here's your security. You can set up a passcode if you want to protect all these settings with a passcode. Simply enable that, set your passcode up, and nobody can change those. And you can even enable tags if you want to create tags and group everything that way. And then you can theme this if you want to go into Cydia. There are themes available for this. Uh, it gets, you know, you can, it's pretty customizable uh, tweak. Definitely one I think it's worth checking out. This developer's done a fantastic job with this. And he continues to keep it updated right on for the new updates and new firmware, which means a lot. Guys, don't forget, this is a video in collaboration with ModMy.com. Go over and check them out. Don't forget to hit that big subscribe button before you leave if you aren't already a subscriber here. And please share this with all your social media and keep coming back.